Wow, it's new tool Thursday and here we go. We're opening up a box, brand new. Uh, let's see what we have. Oh, a detail sander, cool. Let's get the box, let's have a look at this bad boy. This was sent in by my friends over there at uh, Banggood's. Banggood is, uh, you'll see them advertising on their Facebook, you'll see them all over the place. Man, looks like we got a big pile of sandpaper again. Not really that shocked about it, but yeah. Uh, Banggood uh, items usually are packed with pretty much everything you need to get started. So we've got, looks like a nice little detail sander. It sort of looks like the Black & Decker model, doesn't it? It really does. And it's got a, okay, side to side switch, which I'm okay with that. Got the vel, you know, the plastic Velcro type hookup for hook and loop for sandpaper. These things here, I've started seeing these appear on a lot of the sanders. I don't know how good they work, but uh, this one here is very similar to that other one we had in here from, uh, and it's from, yeah, just better give you the name there. It's from Top Top Shake Shark, yeah, Top Shake, Top Shack, Top Shack. Let's see if I can say that right. Wow, having problems here. Today. It's from Top Shack, yeah. And it's a nice little detail sander. Again, lots of power cores, something that I like to see on, you know, tools these days, because a uh, long time ago, uh, old, long, long time ago, you know, <clears throat> they never gave you any power cord. So that was always kind of a, a, a mess. Let's get this baby rolling. We're gonna sand something today here. You know, I hate to say it, but we all hate sanding, but a good sander will make it a little less, uh, of a problem, right? <laughs> yeah. And the other thing I want to talk about is the website while I'm getting all this together. The prices will vary at times. You will have special deals and stuff. And when they have like one of their little fire sales or something, that's when you really need to jump on something. If you're looking for an inexpensive tool, man, that goes on nice. Yeah. Plus you could also hook a vac to it because it's now, how do you get it off? Okay. You know. <laughs> there you, go. you could put a vacuum on this, a small one. You might need an adopter, probably have to make an adopter. If you have a 3D printer, you can make an adopter. So, <laughs> but it has, uh, okay, it has a little, yeah, there's a little side, a little squeezy sides there for where it locks in and locks out. But this works pretty good from what I've seen on the other machines. So I would expect nothing different for the uh, top shack here with the uh, detail sander. I would expect the same kind of performance levels. So. Yeah, and, and what it is with uh, Banggood is a lot of times if they have a fire sale or something, that's when you really want to get into it because you'll save yourself a pile of money and a lot of times they will have prices that are absolutely mind-blowing, you know. Okay, we'll just hold this up and start. I just want to see how it runs. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it feels pretty good. I like that. Also could feel the air sucking up through there just about, I think. Oh, my imagination probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gets carried away. So what are we going to sand? Well, we got some 80 grit here. And I guess we'll slap some 80 grit on something. Let's grab a board. And line up the holes. That way she can, yep, suck through all the goodies. Oh, there's slots here. So if you get different paper, you're probably okay because these are all slotted out to, to make sure that you... Uh, you can get that uh, vacuum sort of suck up that you're, you're looking for. So even if the paper's off a little bit or whatever, yeah, you're still gonna have good suction. So, let's find something to sand. Yeah, it just so happens I had a lot of the scrap lumber around. Does this look familiar? I think we just saw this last week. It's got a terrible stain on it, but uh, let's just do some sanding with it. <laughs> Okay, I don't see any dust here at all, so I would say that's a that's a win right there. There is a pile of uh, stuff up in here. It's been filling this up nicely while I've been doing this, so that's good. Some of the real fine stuff I think has actually gone through the filter, which is kind of expected, but there's uh, the machines keeping itself relatively clean. Okay, I took a quick look in the stores this morning and just looked around and. I'll show an example over at Lowe's that I looked at this morning before we started the show up because I wanted to just make some comparisons because everybody jumps me. But here's the thing. 
Uh, this one, last I checked, I think it was around $29 right now, but sometimes they have a fire sale and you'll get it even cheaper or a discount code or something like that going on. I don't have a discount code just this morning just yet. If I get one, I'll post it in the uh, description below, but I will give you a link to, Bang, to Banggood uh, for their products for you know this anyways and uh, the other sanders that they do. They have a whole line of uh, sanders the, uh, from this company right here. And they seem to be all pretty good tools. In fact, I would swear up and down this was a knockoff of that one I was looking at this morning, but not really, but uh, half the price, because uh, I think the one I looked at this morning was around $44, and it was really just, it's the same sander as what I'm looking at here. It had the same features and what have you. So there you go, there's a, there's a good example of a new tool on Thursday, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know how much we can say about this, but uh, it's, it is a good tool. It works great. I, that board, it took some of that down pretty quick. And that's, that's some really old stain that was put into that board a long time ago. So it was coming out. Yes, I could run it through my, uh, my planer and have it knocked out in a hurry, but I, I'd also lose more dimension than I probably want to lose off of any board. But uh, just wanted to really just, you know, what we'll call it proof of concept to see how this operated under, you know, some pretty rough conditions. And it looks to me like it's doing a great job. The uh, features, yeah, besides the the long 110, fairly lengthy 110 power cord, how long is that cord? Uh, I'm going to take a guess and say that's got to be a good, good about, about seven and a half feet or so. So that's a good long power cord for a small tool like this. It has the really nice Velcro, but I like the way they did the Velcro on this one because it's it's got a sort of a plastic nylon kind of Velcro feel to it that's attached to the machine. So again, that should last a long time. Velcro doesn't last forever, but yeah, it does last a long time. The capt capture system they've got back here does seem to work, although like I said, I do see a little bit here, but I didn't see a big cloud of anything coming up, so that was pretty good. The user manuals probably, like always with these tools, they keep it, they keep it as simple as they can. Yeah, it's like, you know, one or two pages of uh, some information and what have you about, you know, the sander, and that's about it. But price-wise, I don't think you can beat it. You get, and let's see, what do you get? You get pieces of sandpaper with this. They also have other tools, so it looks like they give you a nice little manual, yeah, of all the other uh, tools, including, got the QR code there if you want to look it up to get more information about the uh, this particular company that makes a lot of different power tool products, a warranty card. So there is a warranty. I mean, you know, I, like I said, I'm not real big on warranty, but if you have one, that's great. You know, I usually if something really breaks down bad, a lot of times it goes to the uh, the bin. You know, the gray basket bin. Yeah, that one. But this, in this case here, they do have a warranty, which always a lot of people ask about that. It's like, all right, they have a warranty. Now let's take a look at these features. Velcro, what can I tell you? Got a nice soft feel, handle, very positive belt button. Good high speed, good strong, you know, current wise. Good strength, <clears throat> good strength. Mm. Doesn't sound right, yeah. The, so the overall view of this tool is for the money, that's a lot of tool. And also the other thing that I wanted to know so that I can tell you guys exactly how much but, uh, let's count them. So you got 12 pieces of sandpaper that come with the machine. And again, that's always usually a, you know, this stuff here. I've been pricing it. And I'll tell you the truth, lately I have been starting, I get so cheap with this sort of thing that I've actually been looking at uh, Hart over there at Walmart and buying, or even buying some knockoff sandpaper they have because sandpaper is getting kind of pricey. <laughs> It's like everything else, you know, the price keeps going up. That's, that's, you know, it's kind of like time. It marches forward. It don't stop and it don't go backwards. It just goes forward at one speed, I hope. Yeah. Um, so what happens here is uh, we've got 12 pieces of sandpaper, various P80. Okay, so that's 80 grit, uh, 120 grit, and it looks like, uh, yeah, and 180 grit. So there's a good selection of the three grits that you should probably use with most detailer sanders. So that's a good thing. Yeah, I got a little bit of everything. That is, that is, like I said, that in itself is 
Man, you can spend about, what, $10, $15 just on sandpaper. So if you get the whole sandpaper deal with the machine for about $29 or less. If it's on sale, you might be able to get a discount coupon or something. Sometimes Banggood is very good for that sort of thing. And shipping-wise, again, I can't guarantee that part because I've seen uh, Banggood has warehouses here in the U.S., so you don't know. It might come in in a couple days or it might be one of those, you know, it takes a little bit longer to get it. But I find if I'm going to save money, uh, the shipping is usually generally, okay, generally. Um, I'm set up to say, okay, it, I've saved money, so I'm more than willing to wait, which most people are not. So, yeah, but I'm, I'm always willing to sit back and save a few bucks. And, you know, if it takes an extra week to come in or something, hey, I'm okay with that, you know. Life goes on, right? Anyway, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools this week. And, and that's the end of this week. Next week, uh, Hacker Monday, new tool Thursday. Also got a brand new tool in that I want to talk about that's uh, laser. Yeah, we got a laser in here and we're going to be uh, engraving and cutting and just making a total mess of the world with a laser. And three different uh, powered laser systems that will... Maybe I can, you know, drill myself a, a oil well in Texas with a laser. That would be a first. But anyways, until next time, guys. Hey, thanks. Keep it up and over and out.